Hello, welcome to another UIO Computer Science uh, video. Today we'll be talking about uh, two's complement. Um, and what two's complement is, well, I'm, at least in UIO Computer Science, uh, they test two's complement on byte because it is because byte only has eight bits. So the math is relatively uh, easy, it's pretty straightforward. If you had to do it with um, an integer, then you would have to do a lot, a lot of like addition and subtraction. And it's just so going to be so boring and tedious that, I mean, obviously they just, if you can do it on a byte, you can do it on anything else. And two's common is what computers use to make numbers negative. So for example, well, before we get into like the actual two's complement, this is what actually happens. Um, this is what like the computer stores a negative number in binary. So let's say for example we had the number negative fifty-seven. Then well first I'm gonna write uh, the powers of two. Well there's eight bits, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four. 8, 16, 32, 64, negative 128. This is negative because we are dealing with a byte. It has 8 bits and uh, remember the range from negative 128 to 127. Um, so if we want to do negative 57, well we know first of all that the number is negative. Therefore, there has to be a 1 here, for sure, for sure, for sure. Now, the next thing to do is, well, negative 128 plus what number gives me negative 57? So let's say, let's do a little bit of algebra. Negative 128 plus x equals negative 57. Therefore, you have to add 128 to both sides. So it's 128 minus 57, which equals 271. So you have to find a combination of these numbers that give you 71. And um, 64 goes into 71. And if you subtract 64 from 71, you're going to get a 7. And then uh, what combination numbers give you 7? 4 and 2 give you 6, with the 1 gives you 7. So these all become zeros. And this is what the computer stores as negative 57. Um, but using 2's complement, um, the computer does this uh, way faster. Um, so how the computer does this is like this. Let me get a nice piece of paper. Tickets in the frame. So again, let's see. Want to do negative one fifty seven again? How to do two's complement? Basically, the first thing you do is you flip each bit. You don't invert it. You just flip each bit. So if it's a one, you flip it to a zero. If it's a zero, you flip it to a one. This is one's complement. After you're done flipping each bit, then you're going to add one. Okay, so for negative 57, um, how do you do it? Well, you're gonna have, let's do the powers of two again. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and uh, negative 128. So first we get the number, uh, the the positive number at least just the positive number so we're gonna get positive 57 so how do you get positive 57 well 32 and 16 make 48 48 plus 8 gives you 56 plus the 1 gives you 57 these get filled with zeros now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip each bit so now uh, you're gonna make this one to a zero, the zero into a one, and so forth. Now, after you're done flipping, you gotta add the one. So we're gonna add a one in binary, right? And how do we, what do we get? Zero one becomes a one. One plus zero gives you. You can fill all these all the zeros if you want. One, one, zero, 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 one, one, and. It, that's it, you're done. 
and uh, if you want to double check to see if it actually is uh, negative 57, you can add them. 64 plus 4 is 68 plus 3 is 71. Negative 128 plus 71 is negative 57. And we just did the math uh, one paper ago, actually. Um, now, I guess a, a fast way of doing this, instead of having to add one each time, uh, here's an alternate way. Instead of flipping each one, what you do is you flip each bit until the least significant bit. Least significant bit. So in this case, we had a, a 57, the normal 57. The least significant bit would be this one right here. So basically, you're gonna get the one furthest to the right. The first instance of one furthest to the right. In this case, the first instance is this. If this was a zero and this was a one, then the first instance would be right here. So any number before that, you, you keep until you get to the one. So again, if let's say this was a one, zero, zero, you would keep all this the same and then flip all these bits. But in, in our case, the least significant bit was at the very, very farthest right. So you keep that the same and then you flip everything else. Um, and that's it. You don't have to add one or do anything. So you get 57 again, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. The least significant bit is this one. And then you flip everything else. So this becomes a one, a one, zero, 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 one, and one. And notice this is the same exact thing that you get from right here. So uh, it doesn't matter which way you do it, you get the same answer. Uh, but personally, I would suggest doing this way. Um, what, I, what I would do here is actually is what I teach my, uh, I can't say my students, they're actually my friends. Um, because this is just a really straightforward way of getting two's complement right. If you get the number negative 57, then just do a little bit of algebra to figure out um, what, how many ones and zeros you need to put in to get, well in this case it was uh, 71. Because you know that this number had to be a one because it was negative. Now, 128 minus 57 gives you 71. So then it was just a matter of just simple addition to give you the which uh, ones and zeros were in each uh, bit here, and you would get your answer. However, if you actually uh, did it this way, and just wrote the positive number of whatever number they ask you, in this case it was 57, and then do this simple flip each bit until the least significant bit, or flip each bit and then add one, uh, you will still get your answer like that. But if this is too uh, hard for you, you can just do it this way, uh, the, the, pre the one paper go away. Um, and then we need to get into uh, why this is important. Well, this is important because this is how computers uh, subtract numbers. So let's say we wanted to do 24 minus 20, or in this case, we're gonna add 24 with negative 20. Well, let's write one, two, four. Let's write the part of the two. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, negative 128. To get 24, it's 16 and eight. That gives you 24. Let's fill the rest with zeros. So that's 24. To get 20, or uh, yeah, to get 20, before we do negative 20, we need to get 20 first. How do you do that? Well, 20 is 16 and four. This is 20. Then we take the two's complement, which makes it into negative 20, and you go to the first instance of the one, which is right here. So you keep all this the same, and then you start flipping all the bits. This becomes a one, a zero, one, one, and a one. This is now negative 20. Now, what you need to do is you need to add the two together. So again, it was zero, 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 one, one, zero, 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 and one, 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 zero, one, one, zero, zero. We add them, and we get zero, zero, one. This becomes two, put a zero down, carry the one, 
becomes zero, carry the one, zero, carry the one, zero, carry the one, zero, carry the one, and you get a one. Now, this is nine bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, uh, because we're working with eight bits, because this is, they're both bytes, because we're using, working with eight bits, this number, basically, uh, you don't care about it. You ignore it, because we're only using eight bits, again. Now, we all know that 24 minus 20 is four, and if you notice, the only number, I mean, the only bit that has one is in the fourth, in the number four column. We're in the two to the second power column. Um, and that's how computers actually um, uh, add and subtract numbers. Uh, by using two's complement, you can uh, invert a number. Um, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you guys some examples of what they'll throw at you during during the test. And uh, this can be either a free response question or a multiple choice question. Me, uh, okay. So in the first example I'm gonna give you, this is a, a free response question. And in the free response question, all you gotta do is just literally uh, just write your answer. Um, and it becomes kind of weird when it becomes, when it comes into like bullying and everything because the answer might be a little bit long, but that's just free response. You just write what you can in, in that little space that they give you in either the Scantron or the uh, answer sheet. Uh, but I digress. In this in this free response question, it said, "What is a decimal?" It'll tell. It'll give you the question just like this. What is a decimal equivalent for the eight-bit binary value one zero one zero one zero zero one? How do you do it? Well, it it's uh you gotta use two's complement. So what you do is you go to the first instance of one. In this case, it's right here. So you keep that and you flip all the bits. So this becomes a one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And well, what is that number? Well, this is one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. I'm not filling these. I'm not putting this in eight or thirty-two because these are zeros, and anything times zero is a zero. So I'm basically just gonna add up these numbers. So sixty-four plus sixteen plus four plus two plus one, and what do we get? This because it's ten, and this is a seven, so that's seventeen. Carry okay, the one, and this is an eight, so you get eighty-seven. But remember, we're doing two's complement, so what we gotta do? You just gotta make a negative at the very end. So what you would write as your answer is negative eighty-seven. And that would be answer. Uh, another question, our last example here, is I'll just get it. Um, oh, yeah. Sometimes in the multiple choice, they will ask you to complement, and uh, sometimes in the multiple choice, they actually explain how to do it, uh, how to do two complement, but uh, given a short amount of time, I don't know if you guys would be able to. Uh, do it. It's actually really straightforward what I just taught you right now. But basically the question is, it gives you the explanation. So blah, 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 right? This is the explanation part. And then it says, what, what represents the 8-bit binary representation of negative 17. How you do it? Well, first we just the power of 2, or the byte at least. 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, negative 128. Uh, remember, if you want, you could really just do one negative 128 plus what gives you negative 17, and you just fill out the rest with ones and zeros. Or you could just use two complement, which basically you just get the positive value of the number, in this case, positive 17, forget that negative. So one here and a one here, because that will give you 17 for the rest of zeros. Then find the least significant uh, bit, which is here, 
you keep that and then flip everything else. One, 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 zero, one, one, one. You're done. There you look for the answer choice that gives you this and you got your answer. Um, yeah, that's, that's it for Twist Compliment. This is a very easy question uh, that you will encounter during a test. Uh, I wanted to do this question before question number two because in the previous video I just went over uh, data types and this is actually uh, how uh, these the integer data types uh, work. Um, so yeah, this yeah. That's it. Bye. Mm -hmm.